Welcome to today's conversation, Economic Injury Disaster Loan, or EIDL repayment. You'll understand the EIDL repayment terms and learn tips on how to repay this debt. The information contained here has been prepared by Civitas Strategies Early Start and is not intended to constitute legal, tax, or financial advice. The Civitas Strategies Early Start team has used reasonable efforts in collecting, preparing, and providing this information, but does not guarantee its accuracy, completeness, adequacy, or currency. The publication and distribution of this information is not intended to create and receipt does not constitute an attorney client or any other advisory relationship. Reproduction of this information is expressly prohibited. In today's conversation, we will discuss what is the EIDL, what are the payment terms, and what are some tips on repaying this debt. The U.S. Small Business Administration introduced the EIDL program to support financial relief efforts for businesses impacted by the pandemic. Some key points about EIDL are, this loan has supplemental payments and loans. The supplemental and advanced payments do not need to be repaid. However, the loan does need to be repaid. There is a two year grace period where interest is accruing. The program closed to new applicants on December 21st, 2021. For supplemental and advanced payments provided through EIDL. As a part of this program, eligible businesses could qualify for a loan of up to $2 million, including a supplemental payment via a loan advance up to $10,000 or a targeted EIDL advance up to $15,000. While the loans do require repayment, the supplemental payments do not. It is also possible for businesses to only apply for the supplemental payments and not the loan. Both programs are used interchangeably, but are no longer available to new applicants. The EIDL disaster loans help businesses get back on their feet with supplemental and advanced payments provided near-term cash. These loans provide long-term debt. This funding was available beginning in April 2020 until December 31st, 2021. The EIDL offers long-term debt to businesses via a 30-year loan term at a fixed rate of 3.75% for profits and 2.75% for nonprofits. To further provide relief for businesses, there is a deferment period of two years before the loan must begin to be repaid. There is no forgiveness offered for EIDL debt, only the initial payment deferment option. Remember, even though payments are initially deferred, interest continues to accrue. Depending on the amount of your loan, you may have signed a collateral and guarantee agreement, which could place your business operations and personal assets at risk if you default on your loan agreement. If your loan is more than $25,000, a lien was placed on your business's assets. This may be your home if you are a family child care provider. If your loan is more than $200,000, your personal assets are at risk. In both these instances, because the SBA is a lien holder, you cannot sell assets or the business without SBA approval. Here are some tips on how to pay back your debt. Include payments in your budget and cash flow. Payments during the deferment period will help reduce your overall debt by decreasing the amount you owe and the interest charge. Do additional payments. Four extra payments a year can take 11 years off the loan. And remember, low interest does not mean no interest. If you have additional questions or need counseling on your EIDL loan debt and repayment, reach out to your SBA loan officer or your local small business development center. Additional resources for early care and education can be found at the Wisconsin Early Childhood Association or WECA website. If you are not a member of the Wisconsin Early Education Shared Services Network, you can click here to learn about business training and support it offers. If you are ready to join the Wisconsin Early Education Shared Services Network, you can also click here to join 